Hi, my name is Ursula or Ulla, and uh, yeah, today um, I was going to speak a little bit about New Year's resolutions. Maybe up front I should say that um, I'm not a counselor nor a psychologist uh, nor a pastor. I'm actually a linguist, but uh, um, more importantly, I um, just love to read um, the Bible. I just really think that um, the Bible is like a manual for life and um, it has plenty of advice on how to live life to the full. As for New Year and resolutions, I heard that the most popular one is to go to the gym regularly. And um, well, um, that is uh, very good for the body and we all want to have a fit body. But uh, what about the mind? And this is what I was uh, thinking of in regard to New Year, to just uh, look at a couple of verses. Um, the first one is from Isaiah. That's um, a book written by the prophet Isaiah, 700, 700 years before Christ. And uh, it's in the Old Testament, and it's in chapter 43, verse 18. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. I was thinking, wow, I would love um, to have a new thing. Uh, and uh, I think, uh, yes, we all desire um, change, or at least to some extent in 2015. I was meditating a little bit uh, on this verse because it also says uh, forget about the old things. Which old things would I forget about or should I forget about? So I was thinking, um, well, maybe I have to declutter my mind a little bit to make room for the new thing <laughs> and let go of um, things um, which I don't really need in 2015, unforgiveness, or fear, or guilt, anger, resentment, all these negative emotions which so often are a burden and um, don't make the year or the day as sparkling as we would like it to be. I thought, well, and this is something to meditate on. But and then again, uh, to get some help, I turned to the New Testament. And uh, this time it's a verse from Matthew. I'm going to read it's you, uh, chapter 11, verse um, 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I hope uh, that 2015 will be a good year and that you will be able to just uh, leave uh, some of your burden um, back in 2014 or with Jesus. <laughs> All right. Bye for now and uh, have a great day.